Hello, everybody. My name is Dorothea, and I'm a senior coordinator here at the Antioch Center. And today, I'm going to basically demonstrate how to wrap a gift. First, you're going to start with your, of course, wrapping paper, scissors, and your tape. Uh, wrapping paper can be purchased anywhere, Target, Walmart, the Dollar Tree, the, any, any of your uh, um, discount stores. Now, first thing, when wrapping a gift, see these little lines on the back of the paper? They're there for a reason. And you're going to use these lines basically to measure the box or whatever item you're going to wrap. So. I'm going to start first with Mr. Potato Head, okay? These are basically little gifts that you might want to uh, purchase for your grandchildren or your godchildren and, you know, just little gifts. Okay, so the trick is to use, to use less paper. You don't want to use a lot of paper when wrapping a gift because that's what messes a lot of people up. You just want to use enough to cover the gift properly. And you're going to bring that all the way over like that. So when you cut the opposite side, it'll be just enough to cover the box. Okay? So... We're going to start our cut now, and basically, I can just look at this because I pretty much know what I'm doing. So, I can look at this and tell where I need to cut. So, I'm going to cut here. Now, once I get the cuts, that's when I'm going to start my, my, my fold and my creases, okay? All right, so that's the paper that's going to cover it. Now, this is the paper, the cut, that's going to be our fold and our crease on the box. Remember, these lines are there for a reason. And you want to get as close as you can to cutting on the lines. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just enough. And if you have a, a, a ragged edge like that, you always want to put that on the inside, right? And sometimes your paper me tear a little bit but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do something about that. You can always turn the box around and see if I can turn nope oh, gotta go this way. Gotta go this way. Push that up. Because again we don't want to use a lot of paper when wrapping a gift. Okay, so we're going to fold this side first before we cut, okay? So this side can be folded like this. Okay, you're going to go, do that again. You're going to go in like that, and you're going to crease. And you don't want to use a lot of tape either. If you notice, I'm using little pieces of tape. See how that goes like that? That's neat in it. And then you're going to come up. See how that looks? And you're going to use a little piece of tape. I try to use one piece, but I'm going to use two little pieces on the edges here. Not a whole lot. 
So you won't even, still won't even notice the tape that has been placed there. Look at that. Then we're going to go to this side. Now this side, we got to cut. Okay, again, these lines are here for a reason. So I pretty much can tell where I need to cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the cut. If you notice, if you get the shot down here, I'm still on the line. See the line right there? And it, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. But the trick is to use the right amount of paper and not a whole lot of tape. Okay. I'm going to fold this and crease it the same way we did the opposite end. Now, as you can see, this has the diamond shape. So if, to make it look like this, I'm going to cut it just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm going to bring that over. Again, you're just going to use just the right amount of tape on your folds and your creases. And then the end result, you're going to crease your box. And then you're going to put your accessories on like your bows and your name tags and things of that nature. Now, sometimes you're going to find a box. That may look difficult, but it really isn't because it's very, very easy. It doesn't have, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. So, I have some paper here that I had cut early. Let's see if that works. If that'll work perfect. See that? That worked out perfect. It's going to cover both ends. Let me see. Nope. Nope. I'm going to have to cut. Okay. So we're going to measure the box. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now with this box, we're going to wrap it this way. So we can work on the flat surface, not this side because, of course, this side isn't, isn't flat. This is the side, once we get the paper on, if you're going to, when you put your accessories like your bows and your ribbons and your name tags, this is the side you're going to use. So we're going to start with measuring the paper again. And remember those lines are there for a reason, right? Now this is so easy, I don't even need to put, leave the box there. I'm just going to do this like this. Remember those lines are there for a reason. You're going to place your box in the middle. This particular box you're going to place in the middle. I usually like to center it, but I'm going to show you the easy way. I'm going to make it easy for everybody because it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want it to look pretty, but it doesn't have to be perfect, perfectly pretty, but it's going to be pretty, okay? Need to trim this just a little bit. Kind of raggedy.
I used to wrap gifts years ago for this department store in Washington, D.C. called Woolward and Lothrop. And for Macy's uh, that used to be Hex, the Hex company. And I did it every year. It was seasonal work. And uh, that's how I learned how to, oop, to do this. Don't worry about that. I'm going to fix it. Bam. You can always fix it. You can always fix it. And I have just enough paper to fix it. And this is, um, it's amazing that when you learn how to gift wrap and you see your creation, it's just, it's just phenomenal. Okay, so now we have the paper on and of course again, when we put our accessories on, we're going to work from this end, okay? So I'm going to turn that back over. And we're going to do our creases. I'm going to trim this just a little bit. Just a little bit. This box is not as easy as the other box. But it's going to work. There's your creases and your folds. Get that little cut. Just a little cut. See, I don't have a lot of scrap paper. And I did try to use the big, the larger pieces that I had left over from the um, the previous box that didn't work, so I just had to cut the paper again. Just have to trim this a little bit. your crease in your fold. And anybody can do this. I'm, I'm 66 years old. Anybody can do this. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. You can do this. See that? You're going to crease up your box. You don't want to crease this one too much because you don't want it to break. And now, as you can see, your gifts are ready for the tree. <laughs>